Hello, everybody. Welcome to our program. This is English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today is our TLC unit, and we're going to continue talking about our wild life when your family is a zoo. <laughs> Now we're talking about the Abrams family, the Abramses, who live in a town called Pine Tops, North Carolina, and they've got all sorts of pets in their house. Isn't that right? They got a lot of pets,、uh, many more than most normal people would have. So we're calling them eccentric because they have it looks like eighty pets,、uh, both inside the house and outside in the backyard,、uh, which I'm sure would probably bother some neighbors. I don't know. I wouldn't want my neighbor having eighty pets running around,、It's、especially if they were dogs and you know, or or like dangerous animals. Some people do collect、uh, snakes. And if they get away, it could、uh, be very dangerous. Did you hear about that story last year? Somebody had a python, and it was a pet, and they kept it closed in a closed glass container. It got out, and it did kill a little baby. Oh no! So sad. That、yeah. can happen, and you hear f- stories about that all the time.、Be、Somebody's、careful. got a, a tiger as a pet or something.、Oh, so you're、uh, a pit bull. People, yeah, people are just trying to show off all、um, the time. So in this particular case, though, I think their intentions are good by taking care of these rescued animals. And、uh, dogs and cats that have special needs and stuff like that, but still, it might drive the neighbors crazy. So, of course, they need to interact with the neighbors to make sure everything is okay. And today, we're going to talk about some of the other unusual pets that they have in their house, and some of the unusual situations that occur as a result of having all these strange animals. Okay, so let's get to it, everybody. Let's listen to the entire content of today's lesson, and we'll come back to discuss it. A few weeks after Axel Rose grows accustomed to his new surroundings, Bobby Joe decides to adopt yet another animal. She's received a call about a sloth, Belt, who was dropped by her mother as a baby. Belt had to be adopted shortly after, as her mother would no longer care for her. Unfortunately, her adoptive family is now moving and can't take Belt along. Bobby Joe, though, is more than thrilled to introduce Belt into her own family. Although Axel Rose and Belt settle into the Abrams's house quickly, it takes the human family members much longer to adjust. Bobby Joe has allowed Axel Rose to share the bed with her and Jerry, leaving Jerry feeling a bit crowded. In fact, he's spent most of the past few weeks sleeping on the living room couch. Belt, on the other hand, has a habit of climbing into closets, scaring Nana to death when she opens them to look for something. Just when you think there couldn't be more chaos in the Abrams's house, things get even wilder. Jerry is having issues with Joey, a male zebra, who's become territorial over Bobby Joe. The problem gets so bad that Bobby Joe has to call in an expert in ungulates. Who gives Jerry some tips for reclaiming his territory? Meanwhile, Bobby Joe is certain that Ginger, a female pig, is pregnant. However, after invitations to Ginger's baby shower have been sent to the whole town of Pine Tops, Bobby Joe finds out that Ginger is not actually pregnant after all. To see if Jerry claims his rightful place as the alpha male, and if Ginger's party goes bust. Tune into TLC's Our Wild Life this March. Okay, guys, let's talk about、uh, this family that has all the animals. So, a few weeks after Axel Rose grows accustomed to his new surroundings, Bobby Joe decides to adopt yet another animal. Wow, I wonder if there's any limit to how many she's going to adopt. Remember, Axel Rose was the dog in the first、uh, unit, first day of this unit. He was a large Alaskan Malamute wolf hybrid. So that's Axel Rose. It's not the singer from the band. No. No. If you grow accustomed to something, you get used to it. You no longer feel kind of uncomfortable or. Like something's unfamiliar,、um, you can be accustomed to a place. Maybe after a couple of weeks, or maybe it takes you longer to、uh, to grow accustomed to something or to become accustomed to something.、Uh, when I first moved to Taiwan, 
、uh, it was a long time ago, and it took me a little while to get used to the smells. Like in the morning, there was so much garlic people were were using to cook, and I just remember it just smells different. The 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 spices and the flavors and everything was different. For me, it took me a little while to become accustomed、uh, to the new food I was going to be eating too. Well, Axel Rose gets used to his surroundings pretty quickly. Your surroundings is. Just to, referring to where you live and the conditions around you, it could be your house, it could be the neighborhood. Maybe the conditions at work are really poor. Maybe the conditions or the surroundings at work. There aren't many restaurants, so when it's lunchtime, there's nowhere to go and buy a,、uh, you know, something to eat quickly. So you always have to bring your food. So the surroundings is just refers to the area around where you are, whether you're at home or the office, whatever you're talking about. Those are your surroundings. Yep. So Axel Rose, the new hybrid dog, has to get used to his new home. He has to get accustomed or grow accustomed to his new surroundings. So Bobby Joe decides to adopt yet another animal. So this dog has made itself at home. It's time to get another pet. She's received a call about a sloth. Uh, by the name of Belt, who was dropped by her mother as a baby. Now, a sloth—that's an animal that moves really slow. Of course, the best example of that is that、uh, sloth in the movie Zootopia that was working at the Department of Motor Vehicles.、Uh, it was talking really, really fast. So there you go. That's a sloth there. But this is a baby sloth, and the mother did not want this baby sloth. It was rejected by the mother, dropped by the mother. Mothers do that sometimes. sometimes. They just get rid of the weak、yeah. ones. Because、yeah. they're not worth their time, and Belt had to be adopted shortly after, as her mother would no longer care for her. The mother just didn't want anything to do with that one. This one's weak. It's not worth my time. I'm sorry about this. That's the way it goes. Unfortunately, her adoptive family is now moving and can't take Belt along. So this is unfortunate. Unfortunate means that's a bad thing to happen, and this is an adverb here. So unfortunately,、uh, the bad thing is is that her family that adopted her is going to move, and I guess their new house just can't accommodate a baby sloth. So this is the adoptive. Family. That's the adjective for adopting. Any family that takes on a pet or a child or something is the adoptive family. If you're an orphan, for example, you could describe your new parents as your adoptive parents, the parents who adopted you. Yeah, it's kind of a faster way to say it, isn't it? And say instead of saying, "Yeah, these are the parents who adopted me," you could just say, "They're my adoptive parents." So. Kind of a weird name, Belt, for a sloth. It makes me wonder why they named that sloth Belt.、Um, so anyway, the、uh, adoptive family who originally took Belt when、uh, Belt's mother didn't want her anymore,、um, they can't take. Belt with them because they're moving. So Bobby Joe comes to the rescue, and Bobby Joe's more than thrilled to introduce Belt into her own family. Remember, they already have eighty pets. So, and I'm not sure how how well sloths get along with other animals.、Uh, usually, a sloth isn't a family pet, so we don't know as much about sloths as some people do. I'm sure, but.、Uh, Yeah, I bet Nana's not going to want the sloth either. Remember, she didn't want Axel Rose to begin with. Sure. So, moving on to the next paragraph, it says, although Axel Rose and Belt settle into the Abramses' house quickly, it takes the human family members much longer to adjust. So, the animals can、uh, become accustomed more quickly, or they did become accustomed more quickly than the people there in the house. So what、uh, what was difficult? Well, Bobby Joe has allowed Axel Rose to share the bed with her and Jerry. That's a bad move. Once you let your dog sleep with you, it's really hard to get them to sleep anywhere else. Because who wouldn't want to be on the mattress of a soft bed rather than the floor, you、mm. know, or a box where some、uh, animals. Uh, sleep. Anyway, yeah, that was a bad move.、Um, so Axel Rose, you know, pretty much thinks he deserves or、uh, 
she deserves. Is Axel Rose a guy? I guess it's a boy dog. I would、uh, imagine, yeah. Yeah, deserves to share the bed with Bobby, Joe, and Jerry. But Jerry's feeling a little crowded. Yeah, when you either have an animal on your bed, or maybe you've got a toddler who wants to sleep with mom and dad, there's not a lot of room left to move around. Or sometimes that. A child kicks at night. I've slept with a, a a toddler that likes to kick and move a lot. It's very hard to sleep. So Jerry's not happy. Let's see what Jerry's going to do. Yeah, in fact, he spent most of the past few weeks sleeping on the living room couch. So of course,、uh, Jerry and Bobby Joe are married, and of course, married couples are supposed to sleep together. But、uh, Bobby Joe's got all those pets with her on the bed, and Jerry feels kind of crowded. So he thinks, well. I can't sleep here in bed with these pets here, so I'm going to have to sleep on the living room couch, which could also be called a sofa.、Uh, when I grew up, of course, we said couch,、yeah. although I knew what a sofa was. There's also the word Davenport,、uh, which is also a word for the same thing. I think Canadians refer to that as a Chesterfield, if I'm not mistaken. But、uh, to most Americans, it's a couch. It's just a long seat that can sit two or three people. Yeah, if it's really small,、uh, we'll refer to it as a love seat that fits two people. Belt, remember, belt is that sloth. On the other hand, has a habit of climbing into closets. Remember, a sloth is always wanting to climb up trees. That's what they live to do. So, belt is going to find something that she can climb, and that's she. She's climbing into closets, and of course.、Um, When she's in the closet, she's scaring Nana to death. When Nana opens the closet looking for something, yeah, it would be a little scary. You don't expect to see a sloth. I think they're kind of cute, though. I don't think I would really be scared to see a sloth. But、uh, anyway, scaring someone to death just makes them really scared or just kind of <gasps> shocked for a minute. So yeah, they've got some problems going on. You could say that. Indeed, and remember, Nana is the nanny there. So if she opens the closet and there's a sloth there, she's probably going, "What the heck is that doing there?" <laughs> My goodness, you scared me、yeah. to death. Although I'm sure、uh, she gets used to it eventually, but still, it can be quite surprising to see a sloth there, especially because they're so big and furry and they move so slowly, like a big spider or something. Okay, that brings us to the midway point in today's lesson. Let's take a little bit of a break now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 今天文章的第一个句子写着 "A few weeks after Axel Rose grows accustomed to his new surroundings, Bobby Joe decides to adopt yet another animal." 在 Axel Rose 呢，渐渐习惯了这个新的环境。几周过后 ，Bobby Joe 又决定要再领养一只动物，而这一次呢，则是一只树懒。不过，我们先来看一下 accustomed， 在这里当做形容词，解释成为习惯的。我们常说 be accustomed to， 或者是像这里的 grow accustomed to， 跟 be used to、get used to 都是有。习惯于什么什么的意思，强调的呢是次数发生的很频繁，所以都已经习惯了。那么要特别注意一下，这样子的 to 后面接的是动名词或者是名词子句，像在这里的 to his new surroundings， 也就是说他已经渐渐了习惯他的周遭环境了。这个树懒的主人没有办法再照顾他 ，Bobby Joe 就想要照顾他。Unfortunately, her adoptive family is now moving and can't take Belt along. 在这里就提到的呢，非常不幸的是，原本这只树懒的领养家庭呢，要因为搬走，所以就没有办法把这只树懒 Belt 一起带走。Bobby Joe, though, is more than thrilled to introduce Belt into her own family. 然而 ，Bobby Joe 呢就非常兴奋的要把他带进自己的家庭。接着，我们来看到第二段的第二个句子提到 ，Bobby Joe has allowed Axel Rose to share the bed with her and Jerry, leaving Jerry feeling a bit crowded. 
。Bobby Joe 呢，让这只狗可以跟他跟他的先生共享一张床，而这件事情却让 Jerry 觉得那床实在是太拥挤了。请同学把 leaving 圈起来，其实它是原本从 which leaves， 也就是前面这样子的结果呢，就造成后面的状态，造成了 Jerry 觉得太拥挤了。而后面提到 ，Belt on the other hand has a habit of climbing into closets, scaring Nana to death when she opens them to look for something. 而这另外一方面 ，on the other hand， 这只树懒呢，很喜欢爬进壁橱里面，然后呢，当姥姥打开壁橱找东西的时候，就把它吓得要死。Scare somebody to death, 也就是从字面上翻，有把某人吓死的意思。而如果说某人有怎么样的习惯，你就可以说 have a habit of doing something， 或者你也可以说 be in the habit of doing something. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 就是你觉得不可能有更多的乱象在阿布拉姆家，事情变得更加乱。乱象指的是当有很多的混乱，可能有完全乱的状况。有时候，我妈妈会走进我们的卧室，当我们是小孩子，说：“哦，这看起来有很多乱象。”来，小朋友们，快来整理一下，把这整理一下。乱象，有时候，如果有一个自然灾害发生，就会有。There's a lot of chaos at first because people don't know、uh, what to do, where to go.、Um, maybe you've lost electricity. There's a lot of chaos.、Uh, the adjective form of this word is chaotic,、uh, but chaos is the noun. So there,、um, there's a lot of chaos in their house.、Um, but you know, things can get even wilder. You didn't think they could, but you know what they can. Jerry is having some issues with Joey. Joey is an animal. He's a male zebra who's become territorial over Bobby Joe. Uh oh. So if an animal becomes territorial, it means they think this this land or this part of the yard or this person is mine. Stay away. And this Joey is actually acting as if he is. He kind of owns Bobby Joe. He's not letting Jerry get close to Bobby Joe. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Maybe he thinks he's, maybe he thinks he's boyfriend girlfriend with Bobby Joe. Who knows? Could be.、Uh, <laughs> so indeed, he's territorial with Bobby Joe. So of course, Jerry would probably have some trouble if he tries to kiss his <laughs> wife goodnight、uh -oh. or something like that. The zebra would get very upset. Very jealous. They're jealous indeed, and the problem gets so bad that Bobby Joe has to call in an expert in <laughs> ungulates,、uh -huh. who gives Jerry some tips for reclaiming his territory. So it's a bad problem. And a zebra, of course, is an animal with a hoof on its foot or on its feet, like horses or donkeys or mules. So those animals are called ungulates, animals that have hooves, like horses or zebras. And this expert gives Jerry some tips. He gives some advice to Jerry on how to reclaim his territory. To reclaim something means to get it back. To reclaim it、uh, when you lost it before, okay. So、uh, if a country lost territory to another country,、uh, like France, I think lost some territory to Germany in World War One. France was able later to reclaim that land from Germany. Right, and here we're talking about 
someone's territory. Typically, territory refers to an area of land under someone's、um, rule or under someone's jurisdiction. But here we're talking about、um, territory. An animal's territory is usually part of the yard.、Um, dogs typically will mark their territory, which means if other animals come into their their part of the yard, they will fight them.、Uh, that's their territory. But here,、uh, Jerry's getting some tips、uh, how to reclaim his territory with his wife, which is kind of funny. Uh, so that the zebra will back off. Remember, the zebra is Joey. So again, territory is usually an area that's defended by an animal or a group of animals against others of the same、uh, type. So、um, dogs will defend their territory against dogs. I don't, I've never seen a dog defend his territory against a cat. Yeah, but I have seen a dog fight other dogs that he thought were invading his territory. Our dog would always go to the back of the yard, way, way in the corner, to go to the bathroom, and he felt like that was his territory. We weren't supposed to go over there. Makes sense, and I know that cats can be very territorial. Oh yeah, that's true. That's the adjective there.、Uh, in our neighborhood, of course, we've got lots of stray cats, and oftentimes at two a.m. in the morning,、uh -oh. you hear these cats screaming at each other. They're、Having、starting fights, fights and、uh, yes, of course, they are trying to fight for their territory here. But in this particular case,、uh, the zebra. Kind of has dibs on Bobby Joe. The zebra <laughs> says, "Hey, she's all mine, Jerry. You stay away." <laughs> so Jerry contacts an expert, and the expert gives him some tips on how to reclaim his territory. So while this drama is going on, something else is going on. So if you're talking about something else happening at the same time, we use the word "meanwhile." Okay, so meanwhile, Bobby Joe is certain that Ginger, a female pig, is pregnant. So yes, this is happening、uh, while the other problem is happening. I could say, for example, that、uh, my wife was working at the school, but meanwhile I was at the beach having fun. That means I was having fun at the beach while she was working at the same time. So here, Bobby Joe is certain that Ginger, this female pig, is pregnant, expecting a baby. So wow, our pig is pregnant, and it's going to have little piglets. They must have a male pig as well. Somewhere, yeah. Interesting. So, if you're pregnant, you are expecting a baby.、Um, if you're an animal, you're expecting the birth of a baby animal, whatever you are,、uh, what animal type you are. So, this female pig would be expecting piglets.、Uh, those are little baby pigs. So, They're so however, cute, aren't they? Oh, they are. They really are, actually.、Mm. Uh, the only time I think the pigs are cute. However, after invitations to Ginger's baby shower have been sent to the whole town of Pine Tops, <laughs> she actually has a baby shower planned.、Wow. Oh, Bobby Joe's a little crazy with these animals. So, a baby shower is when a mom is pregnant, and her friend, one of her friends, throws a baby shower for her. It's usually just women who come, but I'm hearing men are coming nowadays. And you give presents to that expectant mom. Things that she'll need when the baby's born. So Ginger, the pregnant pig,、um, also gets her own baby shower.、Uh, I wonder who goes to these things. Bobby Joe finds out that Ginger is not actually pregnant after all. Oh, then you'd have to cancel the baby shower for sure. Uh, yeah, but、uh, she already sent out the invitations, so people have probably already made changes to their schedule. But <laughs> hey, it's a pig.、Uh, sometimes people make these mistakes. Maybe it's a pig that just got、uh, extra fat or something. Really fat, yeah. And she thought, "Wow, she must be pregnant."、Mm. No, she's just fat there. So of course, it's a false alarm.、Uh, Ginger is not actually pregnant. And、uh, those are some of the dramas that go on on this TV show. So to see if Jerry claims his rightful place as the alpha male, and if Ginger's party goes bust, tune in to TLC's Our Wildlife this March. Sounds pretty exciting here.、Uh, first of all, let's talk about this drama involving Jerry. And the zebra Joey here. Jerry needs to reclaim his territory to claim his rightful place 
as the alpha male. If you talk about social structures and animal, the strongest male is the alpha male, the male who、uh, gets all the females, who gets most of the food and stuff like that. And of course, we're referring to Jerry being able to sleep with his wife again. And we've also got Ginger, of course,、uh, the pig, but、uh, she's not supposed to have a party. So I guess the party's going to go bust, which means the party is not going to be a success. Yeah, we often will say "go bust"、uh, if something fails, or "go belly up." The company goes belly up; they go out of business.、Uh, we do actually refer to men, not not animals, real human men, as the alpha male. Oh, he's an alpha. You might hear that sometimes, meaning this person's very strong and determined.、Uh, if you're a beta, you're probably a little bit weaker in terms of,、uh, you know, having those masculine. Features and characteristics, so it, it sounds like a fun show. I can't imagine a family being like this, so I would tune in just to see what craziness occurs. Yeah, eighty pets—that sounds a little bit too <laughs> much to me. But、yeah. uh, hey, maybe my sister could relate, even though she、oh, only、yeah. has four dogs.、True. But、uh, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. It's time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. 接着我们来看到，这个家实在养太多的宠物了，实在是非常的混乱。这个时候该怎么办呢？在第三段的中间提到 ，the problem gets so bad that Bobby Joe has to call in an expert in ungulates, who gives Jerry some tips for reclaiming his territory. 实在是整个家庭的问题变得很严重，所以 Bobby Joe 请来了一位有蹄类动物的专家，然后给了 Jerry 一些指点，让他能够取回地盘。Reclaim 在这里有重新要求收回的意思。还记得，如果我们有进出机场的时候，必须要取回我们的行李吗？就会用 reclaim 这个字 ，to reclaim your luggage， 也就是只要。取回你的行李的意思 ，a territory 则是有领土跟版图的意思。有了这样的专家呢，那么就解决了一些的问题。接着我们来看到今天文章的最后一句，写着 ：To see if Jerry claims his rightful place as the alpha male, and if Ginger's party goes bust. Tune in to TLC's Our Wildlife this March. 如果你想要知道 Jerry 是不是有取得他在家中该有的 Alpha Male 领头男子的地位，以及 Ginger 他的派对有没有失败 ，Go Bust 就是有失败或破产的意思。那么你就要收看三月的 TLC 的频道《动物一家亲》。Okay, 以上就是今天的课文讲解。谢谢收听。Okay, everybody, that brings us to the end of our program for today. Thank you for joining us, and please tune in to our program next time. And also, don't forget to tune into our wildlife on TLC. It certainly will be worth watching. Again, from all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie.、Goodbye. Bye.